Part of honoring those soldiers who are defending our nation currently is to honor the families that are here at home waiting on their service members safe return. I'm joined by the Charlotte chapter president of Blue Star Mothers NC-15, Dr. Fostori Pearson. Dr. Pearson, tell me about Blue Star Mothers. Well, Blue Star Mothers are, we're mothers that have children that are currently serving in the military or has served in the past, and that's doing any war of conflict. Now, I know you've got a sense of pride. You've got a son that's in the Army. Talk about your son. Yes, I have a son, um, Captain Booker. He's stationed up at Fort Lee. He's been in the Army now probably nine years, and he loves it. He really does. He has, a um, couple of times he's gone overseas. When he went to Afghanistan, probably about four years ago, I remember when he called me and said, Mom, I'm going to Afghanistan. And I just sat at my desk and I cried. I think about that psychological side of, for, for you as a, as a parent of, of the child who's in the service, what is that like for you when, when you know they're going into those, those danger zones? Well, I, I think what it is is that it's the unknown. Once our children put on this uniform, and I know with my son, once he decided he wanted to go into the Army, there is a lot of psychological trauma that mothers that we go through. It's the unknown. Whether our son or daughters are going to come back, whether they're going to come back alive or they're going to come back as one of our fallen heroes. That affected me a whole lot because I didn't have a cell phone during that time. And when he went, he was like, Mom, you need a cell phone just in case I call you. So I would always watch my phone and just hoping to get a phone call from my son or an email. And a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worrying. But I'm like, Lord, please take care of my son. And not only mine, but a lot of the other mothers who are going through a lot of the same psychological trauma and stresses when our sons or daughters are going on hostile ground. Dr. Pearson, you know, talk about what your organization, how do you, how do you help each other? What is that, that group like uh, mentality when, you, when someone is hurting or having that concern going on when their, their son or daughter's overseas in a, in a hostile zone? The Blue Storm Mothers, we're a support group for each other. And when we have our meetings, we always have a mom that's always concerned and we're there to support. A lot of us have had children in the military nine, 10 years, like I have, and some of their sons or daughters are fairly new, just going into boot camp or been in the military less than a year. And we always give them that comfort and let them know if there's any time that you just want to just cry out or just talk to someone, just give us a call because we're there for you. And that's what the Blue Star Moms do. We support each other. We support the fathers, the mothers, the siblings, and we're sounding board for each other. And you're also able to include the Gold Star Mothers in your group as well. Uh, they are, were Blue Star Mothers at one point, and they've, they've gone on to be Gold Star Mothers due to the, the unfortunate uh, situation that happens. Why is that important to make sure they're part of the group as well? The reason why it's very important, because again, with the Blue Star Mothers, and that's what we need to educate our communities uh, and our neighborhoods. First, you're a Blue Star Mother. In my chapter, there are 18 Blue Star Mothers, and we all have someone that's serving. However, we do have two Gold Star Mothers. And both of these mothers, they have lost a son. And it is so important for our communities to know that these mothers have given the ultimate sacrifice. And for them not to be recognized or honored, it's really a slap in the face. And this is what our Blue Star Mothers chapter, this is what we do. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you.